parents and carers can access student online learning via the Seesaw for Families application. This is accessible via browser web link or via the Seesaw Family app on both Apple iOS and Android devices. To access via the web link, simply type in the URL that you can see now in this video. Alternatively, you can complete a Google search for Seesaw Learning. Click on Login. It will take you through to select the type of user that you are, select I'm a family member. On the Login page, use the details that you would have already created for your Seesaw account. It will take you through to the Home page. From the Home page, there are multiple different actions that you can take. The first we're going to take a look at is the inbox in the top right hand corner. The inbox shows you all communications that you have received from the school and from classroom teachers. Each day, parents and students will receive an inbox announcement of the curriculum learning area outlined in the continuity of learning timetable. These announcements are labeled in the lesson progression, lesson one, two, three and so on. They also outline the learning area for which it's for. For example, lesson one, science. The lesson overview for each lesson and each subject will come in the exact same format. This lesson overview outlines the learning goals for the lesson as well as the success criteria, what students should be able to do and what they have been able to do. It also outlines the must do checklist for students. As a parent, you have the function to be able to print this for your student if this is how you would like to structure learning. Learning is progressive for students and we recommend that students must complete lesson one before moving on to lesson two and so on. Communications to parents are structured in learning areas and so you can open just the social world English work for example. Let's switch now to take a look at Seesaw from the student perspective. This will give you further insight into how students will complete work. From a student's view, they are able to go into individual subjects and see the lesson work. For each lesson, there will be a minimum of three posts. The first post is a video outlining for students what they are doing in that particular lesson. The second post that's available for students is the lesson instruction. This is very similar to the lesson overview, however shows more explicit detail. This lesson instruction will be in the same structure for each subject for each lesson to give consistency for students in understanding. In this particular example, there are five tasks that each student must complete before moving on to the next lesson. Students then see the explicit activities for them to respond to for that lesson. We will now switch back to the family member view to be able to understand what it looks like when a student has completed the activities in line with the teacher's instruction. From the home page, select journal. In journal, you will see each of the different learning areas that the student is enrolled in. When a parent clicks into a specific learning area, they can see each activity that a student has responded to with the student's response. By clicking on View Original, parents and carers can see the original work as set by the teacher. They can scroll through the multiple pages of this, or there may only be one page. Student responses can come in varying forms. They may be written, they may be visual images, or they may be recorded sounds. It is at this point that parents can interact and collaborate with their students on their work by adding a comment. Simply click on the comment tab and type in your feedback. When you finish typing, just press post. This is now pending approval from the classroom teacher. Once they've approved it, it will become available for students to see. You can also add verbal feedback for your student by clicking on the red microphone tab. Hi John, I really like that you chose the Wicked Witch from Rapunzel to do this report on. Great work! Parents also have the ability to be able to see on which days students completed which work. From within the journal, scroll right to the top and you'll be able to see a calendar icon in the top left hand corner. 
By clicking on this, you can see which dates students submitted work. From here, parents can also search specific folders for work. For example, they might search just science lesson one work or humanities lesson one work. In addition to this video, the Seesaw website also has available a number of learning kits for families and Seesaw videos that are accessible for the public on how to use different functions within Seesaw, both for families and for students.